السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گڈ ایوننگ فرینڈس ایس یو نو وی آر کریٹنگ دا ای آر پی ایپلیکیشن سو ٹوڈے آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو ڈیمانسٹریٹ یو دا ریسیپٹ ان لاسٹ ویڈیو وی سی دا سیلز انوائز سو آفٹر سیلز انوائز وی آر ریسیونگ دا پیمنٹ فرام کسٹمر سو ہاؤ وی آر کریٹنگ دا ریکارڈس اینڈ ہاؤ وی آر سیونگ دا ریسیپٹ سو آئی ول شو یو دا فنکشنل functionality of that received and technical technicality uh, coding also so let's start first we can log in from our system into our system and then we can navigate to the sales menu and this is our dashboard in If you didn't see to our last previous videos, then you can. Uh, I am requesting you that you can see the old videos to understand this video also, because in my last videos, last three videos, which is related to sales. So in that, I show you how to create the sales invoice. So today, I am just actually uh, trying to show you the receipt because sales invoice we already created. and i am also requesting you all people who are watching actually you can also subscribe my channel and also share the video to the friend people so they will also it will it will also help for for them okay thank you so from now this is this button is for creating the receipt this is our receipt entry form first we have the board receipt board we are receiving from customer the payment in cash or check or bank transfer by default it is set to bank transfer what we can ch change it to cash check or bank transfer but i will keep it to bank transfer this is auto generated number receipt number which will which will be created automatically and it is unique number invoice date by default it will bring the default date here the reference number we can put any reference number uh, or sales invoice number uh, sorry reference number uh, for ba like bank transfer so they will give us the bank transfer number reference number or check number like so we can write here the check number so so we can just write any number like this number and we can select customer so i will select the customer any customer i will select the related invoices will show here like hasan trading has one invoice as 003 and rosi rosi trading has one invoice as 004 and rashan wala has two invoices as 001 002 and when we will select the invoice it will show the remaining balance of that invoice for example i will select the s001 so how much remaining balance 200 bd we already received in s001 three received 138.500 bd 111 so how much the total invoice amount this is showing 5454.500 this total invoice amount I will show you an, uh, another menu also. You see here, invoice number one. It is showing here detail. So uh, we can just just we can put any number, receive number. For example, now I put here two zero zero one, two zero one, and narration. For example, any narration we can put 
and I will try to save it. It is showing message received amount cannot be greater than the balance amount. Here balance amount how much? 200. So we can put 200 or we can reduce any amount. I will put here for example now 10110. So new receipt is created. Receipt number 5110. Then again we can try to create another, another receipt. Customer, same customer, receive number. If I will change the invoice number, the balance and invoice number will be changed. Receive number. Like for example, now I put here 50 BD. And save. And the receipt number 6 also save. Now total how much balance? We can make the total for this, all this. We can see here again. Forty BD is balance remaining. Four fifty four minus all this amount we can minus make the minus. So forty BD is balance. And if we can try to put excess amount, it will not allow us. So what is the relation between invoices? Between sales invoice and received is one to many relation. We can put many received against an invoice right now in our system. And there is too many ways. But right now I create it like this and even we can save also without reference of the invoice directly so and we can now up to here it is okay for example now I want to change this amount so I want to make the 70 BD so it will be updated sorry 30 BD so it will be updated like this we can update our balance and if you, if you want to delete this balance if it is already posted it will it will not allow us to delete for example now I want to delete this entry so this entry is deleted now I can check my balance again is increase I can delete another entry also here now I will check the balance again two hundred balance now so see here one thirty eight five BD and one 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 so this is total minus invoice amount minus received amount is equal to balance amount so this is the functionality of the and now in second step we want to post so we can go in our dashboard here is the button for posting you want to I want to post this 5 BD so I will go press this button so it is posted after posting the end JV will be created in system account system and you see here GV number 29 5 BD what is the JV bank debit and account receivable credit so asset 
account receivable is asset when asset is credited and when asset is debit current asset we receive the amount in bank and we can right now actually i didn't define the banks here in received i didn't define the risk bank which bank which bank we are receiving we are there are too many ways one way we can we can incorporate this bank information in customer profile or we can directly at the time of receive multiple banks we can allow so by default i just i am using this account now and reverse is same thing if you want to reverse now it is you see here it is showing here in our dashboard it is posted if i will reverse make the reverse jv so you see here one reverse jv is created and here are again and post it and even we can delete also the reverse jv and the all the flow is all already available in my previous videos so this is actually the functional video which i created so in second uh, video i will try to show you the technicality or technical information about this the coding of this receipt thank you very much